changing, but I'm sorry I'm smoking in this video. I'm just really upset by this drama. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch the video that you took down, and I wish I would have, and I really wish that you wouldn't have taken it, took it down. Um, I mean, obviously, people will use your vulnerabilities against you, or whatever. Um, I'm really disgusted by this. Um, as everybody knows, I'm a rape victim. Um, I did a video a couple videos back um, talking about um, my situation and what happened to me. Um, if you'd like to watch it, watch it, but I'm going to tell you, it's, it's a little bit graphic, so if you have children around, don't watch it. Um, because, I mean, I talk about it kind of explicitly. Um, here's the thing. I can only go by what you're alluding to in that, um, you know, obviously it was a woman that was violently raped by a group of men. And that right there is just, wow. That's hard. To, being raped by one person was hard enough for me, much less a man in a group of men. And then, you know, I guess the lady got pregnant or whatever. And, you know, of course that wasn't something that I had to deal with. You know, I thought maybe I could have been pregnant. And, you know, I'm not one for abortion personally because I just don't think I could cope with myself. Um, um, I, I think adoption is a better, you know, solution. Um, but I don't think that um, abortion should be used for birth control. And uh, if you're not ready to have children, then don't have sex or use contraceptive of some sort. That's just my take. Um, but at any rate, um, you know, I, in, in, I guess maybe the lady gave, committed suicide, and, and that's really sad and unfortunate, but if the family or the person came to you in confidence, and being a minister, you sort of have that patient, you know, patient doctor, or patient pastor, or whatever you want to call it, confidentiality, and you know, no, you shouldn't give out her information. You know, if you told the story to tell about your life, and you know, these people need to leave you alone about it. And you know, if they're trying to attack your ministry because the lady committed suicide or she had an abortion or whatever, that's not on, the blood is not on your hands in this situation. And if that's how they're trying to go about attacking you, it's weak and it's, it's pathetic. Um, you know. Javid, you have my respect, and, and I love you because you obviously, and it, you've shown yourself to be a very compassionate person, and you care about people, and I appreciate that in people. That's a quality that I like. Because there's so, there's so much vile and disgusting humanity out there, and what can we do about it but be the best people we can be and try to reach out to those that are hurting, and that's what I try to do. Um, and I try to help people, and I don't know what it is about me, but people feel like they can talk to me about anything. I was thinking about this a moment ago that, you know, um, sorry for the music in the background, my brother's playing, <laughs> playing guitar, practicing and singing and stuff, um, but, uh, at any rate, that people trust me and they talk to me about stuff and uh, I was thinking maybe I need to go in, you know, I thought about this for a long time, you know, going into psychology or therapy of some sort um, and just talking to people about, you know, stuff that happens to them and trying to, you know, tell them that there is hope and you can survive it and you can overcome it because, you know, people that go through those sort of things, you know, if, if they were molested as ch children or they were raped or abused or whatever, you know, a lot of the times they go down a very destructive path, you know, they become alcoholics or drug addicts or, uh, you know, very sexually active or whatever, you know, they just become destructive to themselves. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a path that I went down for a long time. I, I have to fight it all the time. Um, 
you know, but that's just not me anymore. And if it wasn't for, you know, my friends and, and my family that care about me, I wouldn't have overcome this. I wouldn't have um, made it this far. I probably would have done the same thing, commit suicide. Um, and it's unfortunate that, that I can say that, but, you know, I'm just so, so fortunate to, to have wonderful people in my life. Um, and, I, and I'm meeting more wonderful people every day, like you and, and Tommy. The guy's a team demon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Even though that you know they're a bit controversial in their own way, but you know they each their own. Um, if Yoko happens to watch this, leave David alone, please. Just leave him alone. I want to oh, do the Chris Crocker thing again. Leave, leave David alone. Just leave him alone. Yeah, that sort of thing. I won't go there. But that's pretty much it, David. Just don't let, don't let the, just don't even pay attention to it. You know, there's a say that I have when stuff like this happens, and I've been going through my own little drama with the pagan community. Yeah. Um, but you know, just look straight ahead and try not to think about it. That's all we can do. Uh, when it comes to that sort of thing. And, and you, you did the best you could in that situation. And, you know, the blood is not on your hands. So, don't let these people that are attacking you personally, in any way, shape, or form, um, you know, no, you shouldn't give out that information. And, just, bleh. It's disgusting. And, I just wanted to weigh in on it because I, I'm a rape victim and just to give my insight on this and uh, thank you David for what you do and keep up the good work okay that's it good night